Hey, Mark Warnke here. Um, haven't done a Mark's Distinctions video in quite a while and it was just a conversation with a good friend and we uh, were talking about screens and his question was, you know, what do you, what do you feel like how screens are f affecting society? And that's a really good question. And my answer, I don't know, uh, was more of a, you know, how is it, how is it impacting? And so number one is they've studied a lot of children and the impact on screens on children. And what they found is that, and, and on human beings is that it, when we watch a two dimensional object for a period of time, um, which if you think about it is, is not normal. Um, but when we watch a two dimensional object, like a screen and our brains engrossed in it, what happens is we switch into a kind of a, a state in our brain where we're in essentially a fight or flight mode. Um, when you pay attention to your own children or if you've been around children that come off of the screen for a couple hours, they're a little more emotional, they're a little more volatile. You can see them actually have to try to kind of transition out of the feelings that they're experiencing. Um, and it takes them a while to settle back into quote unquote normal brain function. And uh, so we know that it makes people anxious and depressed and it changes how their brain works. And then on top of it, you have literally the most brilliant minds in the world uh, at, at the science of keeping you on screens, dedicating themselves every single day to finding out how to keep you on longer. And, and they're succeeding. Um, they're doing a tremendous job in both adults and children. And we're spending these crazy amounts of time per day on our cell phones, they've made it mobile now. We don't have to be on a computer anymore. We have all our entertainment, uh, mind candy that we need to keep us engrossed and entertained. And um, they're being super crazy successful at it. So that's number two. And then number three is the messaging. So the messaging that seems to attract the most eyeballs, unfortunately, is fear and violence. So. Now you have, and, and you know, whether, and the messaging is less to do with, with it, that's more of the TV genre, um, but as well, games have the violence piece, um, fear has the, you know, has the um, social marketing piece, violence has the social marketing piece. Um, and so now we're spending an inordinate amount of time, we're putting our brains in fight or flight, anxious, depressed states, and then we're being given the message of fear and violence. And so as a result, I believe um, it's breeding some really powerful things in our culture and in our society. And one big thing is, um, uh, uh, is laziness. I believe laziness is one of the plagues of the planet. Um, we are beginning to standardize and justify. At the next um, light, turn right. Generationally, uh, a place of laziness. We've made our lives so comfortable in so many different ways and heat and temperature and temperature control and how to get to and from places, how we entertain ourselves, how we deal with normal life circumstances like death and birth and all, all those, every facet of human existence has been made more comfortable. And as a result, we've gotten At the light, quite turn right onto Star Road. with not ever dealing with discomfort. And laziness always wants to be comfortable. And when you're uncomfortable, you choose to do nothing. And it's really easy just to put a screen in front of your face and get lost into that world. So I believe personally that screens are one of the largest plagues on planet Earth right now that is de-evolving or devolving humanity. Um, it's certainly not focusing us on kindness, love, and gratitude. The only redeeming in one mile I can really at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Star Road. That's really helped. Is it has given a voice to people. To, to normal people, not mass channels. We don't need to be listening to our governments or our corporations or you know the holders of all the cards. None of those people have our well-being in mind, um, but people have people's well-being in mind. And so things like podcasts and blogs and, and YouTube channels and these people who have nothing to gain but to share with the world, um, those are the people that are now getting a, a voice through this medium, and I think that is a positive. Um, so that's kind of my thoughts. Maybe, you know, you can tell me your thoughts as well. I'd be curious to know what you think about this. And again, don't forget that as the owner of Ripple Ranch, 
we find it, it's our obligation and our duty to share kindness, love, and gratitude with the world and to help to inspire deeper thinking about how we're living our lives and continuing to share that message with people because that's where the juice of humanity is in its people. So, hope you're well.